And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well, before we do get into today's video as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Okay, this is not what I expected coming back from the international break. I really didn't. Um, of course, going into the international break, we had that sort of new manager bounce, and we just looked like a completely different outfit. Felipe Camont said that he never has a sort of magic wand, but it looked like we were just going up levels and levels and levels. Look, I'm not going to be blinded by the situation that was a hand under Michael Bull. I do think he brought in a ton of dud players. And do I think a lot of these players are good enough to play for Glasgow Rangers and compete on a domestic level and a European level? Absolutely not. But when Clement came in, we just started to see a little bit more from these players. As I said, everyone kind of says the old new manager bounce. And I fully expected us to go into the sort of international break have an extra couple of weeks on the on the sort of training ground. Yes, I know players were away with their nation, but I do ex I did expect us to go out there and m maybe bring something and look like a better outfit and go up that extra level, especially what's on the line at this moment in time with regards to the festive period, the away games that are at hand. We've got Cup Final and, of course, the Europa League matches. Uh, we come back, we draw to Aberdeen in a fairly disappointing display. We weren't really uh, that great. I know we did dominate the ball, if you like, but we gave away a really sloppy goal. And again, we come to Ibrox. And against this Aris team, this team is the bane of my life. I've literally begrudged them, and I'm, I'm probably holding my hand up too much, but they're probably the lowest ranked um, Europa League team, not just in our group, but with regards to the whole competitions. Um, I don't think they're good at all. Um, I mean, in terms of Cypriot football, obviously, I respect every opposition that's kind of got here. But Rangers, certainly Ibrox, should be, be blowing this mob away. Uh, again, not being disrespectful, uh, disrespectful to Limassol. You, they, they beat us fair and square out in Cyprus. We were in a bit of a transition under the sort of interim manager. I come into this game, previewing the game, I, I truly felt that we would go out there and score and, and lay down a marker, lay down a statement win and win this game by about four or five goals. That was not the case. That was a very, 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 very poor performance from Rangers, probably the poorest I've seen us under the sort of Clement regime. Um, everything was wrong. I don't think any players really got uh, pass marks. And the things that state what's happened by drawing this game against Limassol means that, well, yes, we've, we've qualified for the Conference League. Yes, we've got European football after Christmas. But due to the result in the other game, we won this game. We would have been group winners regardless of what happened on the final day. Winning our group, going into the last 16 of the competition, avoiding Champions League dropouts and parking Europe up until March. It was a fantastic, fantastic opportunity to get to that sort of next round. Um, and we've absolutely blown it. Um, and to be honest with you, I don't even think we'll get Europa League football, if I'm if being perfectly honest with you. Yes, we've got Conference League, whatever. Um, and maybe I can I look at the positives a bit later on. But I don't see us going to Betes, especially playing like that and getting a win. We need to win. It's, it's a, if we win the game, we win the group, which is cool. We lose, we've obviously got Conference League, but if we draw, we're not even guaranteed that Europa League football either. So it does seem as though we're going to be finishing either third or first. And that gets me onto the actual performance itself. Now, again, these players aren't good enough. I get Lamas, Sinfuentes, dreadful. Everyone was dreadful uh, on the night, to be honest with you. I don't know what's going on with Todd Camwell recently. I, I've lauded him so much since coming in January. It was that sort of bright spark. He looked like a fantastic player for us. But apart from that, he's he's been he's not really been that same player this season. Now, some fans will make the debate that he's playing out of position um, and all the rest of it, but he can't be playing like that. He was at fault for the goal and obviously got hooked on the 35th minute and everybody, uh, well, he, you know, he took his frustrations out. But Everybody, it could have been any player got hooked um, at that time because everyone was so, so poor. Sinfuentes, how long does that man need to take with the ball? How long does he need to have it? This was the signing that I was um, the most excited for, probably throughout the summer transfer window. Um, and he's been rank rotten. Sam Lam as well, it's no surprise for me. We still keep playing this guy. Um, this guy isn't going to be coming good anytime soon. He will never become good. He's not going to be a good Rangers player. Um, some people are giving him the benefit of the doubt. He's not good enough to play for us. And uh, again, he's still playing. He still gets a place within this team. And again, another dreadful performance. Everybody, really. You know, Butland wasn't really tested that much. But Tavernier, bad. Barisic, you know, does this the same old Barisic, you know, gets turned in and gets himself caught up in things. Uh, the centre-backs, as I said, not much they needed to deal with. But... You know, when called upon, of course, there was the long ball over the top for the goal. 
Just poor, just really, really poor. And at Ibrox, you know, this place was once a fortress. You know, we're talking about 18 months ago with regards to, to European opposition. Even a couple of weeks ago, we beat Real Betas, we beat Sparta Prague. I just don't know what's gone on with that performance and how we went into the international break after doing so well and the fans really feeling united together again with the players um, and, and getting under this sort of Clement regime and, and serving up that crap on the pitch. It was dreadful, 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 dreadful uh, from, from start to finish. And um, it's a massive thing blown. Um, again, I don't put Clement. Yes, some people question his sort of... Um, his, his changes, his uh, squad setup, and all the rest of it. But at this moment in time, I do think this squad has not been good enough. And this is what I said at the start, before he was even appointed. I know we're saying it sounds like Groundhog Day every single time. We do well under sort of Giovanni Van Bronckhorst, then it sort of cracks start to show. We do well under Michael Bill, then the cracks start to show. But Clement is a, is a tried and tested manager, and he needs to be given time. He needs to be given his players. And of course, I would never ever call out for the manager. But these players are just simply are not good enough to play for us and we need a big squad overhaul starting in January but the only problem is who's going to take a lot of these players they're ranked rotten um, but yeah I'm, I'm super frustrated with the actual result itself as I stated it was a really really good opportunity for us to go into the Europa League and park up Europe now until the till then and our fans are just sharing the same frustration at this moment in time when it matters when we need to win a game when we need to win a game yes under Michael Bill we did well but the league was over. There was no pressure. When we needed to win a game at the weekend, when Celtic dropped points, we dropped points. When we needed to win this game, when the pressure was there, we dropped points. It's just a team full of bottle merchants that I don't think are capable of representing the, uh, the, the batch. Now, having said that, Again, no one was good, but one, one saving grace that I would say was put on a decent performance. He got his goal was Ross McCausen, of course, coming off the back of some of some fantastic form. And of course, as well, with, with um, signing a new contract as well, he's a breath of fresh air coming into this team. But the rest of them players, my goodness me, need to have a real look in the mirror and, and, and understand if they're going to be ready to do have what it takes to play for Rangers because I just feel a lot of them don't have what it takes. Um, I'm all for the manager. I'm all behind the manager. Yes, there were certain situations that maybe he's at fault for in terms of his setup. But again, at this, at this moment in time, he's been given absolute, excuse my long language here, dog shit, and has been told to make something happen with it, which is not going to be possible. It's not possible. As he said, he's not Harry Potter. He's not a magician. But we really need to get going again come this weekend. We can't afford to drop any more points, whether that be in the form of a loss or in the form of a draw. We just can't be dropping any more points, whether it be in European competition, whether it be in uh, domestic competition. Something needs to change for us. And I'm frustrated. Fans are frustrated. Um, and yeah, when it matters, we always, always choke. And that's the problem. That's the problem where we are at this moment in time. And January for me can't come quick enough. But there's so many uh, pivotal fixtures between now and January that we need to try and navigate and get maximum points in. Um, but yeah, another frustrating day at the office uh, but hopefully it all comes good at the weekend rangers fans do let me know your thoughts on that shower of shit last night down there in the comment section below um and if you enjoyed today's content please do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily rangers content and i'll see you all next time take care peace